know it looks good, but don't try to build this PC. Hold up, before we get started, come on, come to daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Ha ha. Oh, there's one more. Come on. Come on. Woo. What's good with it? It's your kid for Dookie back again with Bang. Budgeting new gear reviews so you get the best Bang for your tech dollars. Now, I tried to do the cool YouTuber setup with a table and lights behind me and whatnot. It's not working. I know. We just gonna move on past that. We're gonna talk about this little tiny beast right here. This is my latest PC build. I hope you enjoyed that montage. If you missed the parts, make sure you check the description for all the details, links, and everything. But we got to get back to the purpose of this video where I tell you, do not build this PC. And I say that because right now the market is crazy. I've had multiple people contacting me about either building them a PC or what parts they should look for. And while it's not impossible, it is pretty hard. And if you're not willing to go all the way to get certain devices like GPUs and certain CPUs, it may not be worth your while. I never thought I'd see the day, but I've actually been recommending some folks to look at pre-builds. Ooh. But if we focus on this machine right here, we actually have an Intel build because honestly, all of my recent builds have been AMD Ryzen related. Now this is their four core CPU, which you may have seen actually recommended in a lot of budget PC builds as of the last few months because it's actually always in stock more than likely. But make sure you check the links. I don't know, things may have changed. Now, if you were watching the montage, you may have noticed that I actually switched up the motherboard that was being used. The one that I purchased at the time was for Intel's previous generation of CPUs that used the LGA 1151 architecture. The newer 10th gen series of CPUs now use the LGA 1200. It's only a slight difference, but it would not work. So I had to order a new motherboard and it actually saved me a few dollars as the newer motherboard was about $20 cheaper thanks to Amazon Warehouse. Once the new motherboard came in, everything went to plan, but you can see that I did pivot and switch up the fan on the CPU cooler. I actually picked up this really budget Abcon Core, I hope I'm saying that right, CPU cooler for less than $30 with an RGB fan, but the fan came with a five volt, three pin connector, and this motherboard only had a four pin, 12 volt connector. So what I did was take one of the fans from the pack of up here fans that I got, switched that out and threw it on the cooler. Now that was strictly for aesthetics because these fans are controlled by their own hub. So I do not get any additional fan curve control with these fans. And you use this remote to change the colors on the RGB. So you could go red, blue, green, yellow. You can have all types of looks and styles based on this actual remote. I actually like that Synthwave fake cyberpunk 
ish type of look so i'm gonna switch it back now this started out as a super budget bottom of the barrel type of build but i did make some changes based on stock availability and overall aesthetics you could have went with a cheaper case this one from musetex was about 50 dollars. there are cheaper options now they do have the same case with fans but without it it's like half the cost and i picked up this case of fans from up here these are pretty cheap fans but if you really wanted to, you know, pinch every penny, you could get cheaper fans, but not buy very much because these are pretty cheap. Now, another way to save money with this exact build is with the CPU cooler. There are cheaper options or you didn't need one at all because the Intel CPU came with this own cooler. Now to wrap it up with the main reason I say you shouldn't try to build this exact PC we all know what it is, it's the GPU. In here, I'm reusing the Zotac 3060 Amp White Edition that they sent over for me to showcase in my previous video. But if you were able to actually find the CPU anywhere, you could be paying up to almost a thousand even more as I've seen these 3060s going for ridiculous prices on the secondhand market. Now it's not impossible as I've talked to a few viewers who were able to pick up this exact card from Zotac's website. You got to check as they'll do random drops from time to time. There's other ways of course, but we can address that in another video. But overall, when it comes to this actual PC, it is a beast, man. I was really surprised at what type of performance you can get with that i3 CPU paired with the RTX 3060. Now, if I was doing an actual budget build where everything was realistic and prices were what they usually are, this wouldn't be my first option to pair with an i3 CPU. You'd be looking for something more in the budget of 200 or less. But if you wanted to upgrade it down the line, trust me, with something like a 3060, your performance would be crazy now if you made it through the video this long and you're interested in actual benchmarks and seeing how well this thing performs leave me a comment down below on what games and programs you'd like me to benchmark we'll come back and do a quick video running through some of the benchmarks just so you can see how well this duo performs i'm gonna get up out of here man but i'd love to hear any of your thoughts ideas or suggestions down below in the comments make sure you like share subscribe and never forget to holla at your boy